Boys and girls, man and woman, this video is going to be controversial. And not only does everyone and their mother know how to fit these ships correctly, and there is plenty of videos out there already, but let me try this my way. The Raven, the mighty warhorse of Kaldari Navy. The Raven is the ultimate tank ship with missiles. The great TPS with a low cost mixed with an impenetrable tank. Let's see how it's fitted. The Raven and the Raven Striker are of course very similar to the fittings. So they are quite the same, as we expect. Alright, this is my Raven Striker. Now, this is my PvP Raven. The way I fit this one is to be able to tank a lot of ships, since I do mostly solo roams. So I would say that this is a solo PvP roam fit. And the whole idea is to tank a lot in a short amount of time. And do some good damage, of course. So I got two Webers, which is mandatory for PvP. I think running with only one Weber is probably if you fly faction ships with bonus to webbing, such as Vigilant or Vindicator uh, and a couple of others. Otherwise, you need to have two. And that is mostly to take down smaller ships. Uh, you can also have a Scrambler, but I only pick Scramblers on ships that either have an Afterburner or a Micro Warp Drive. And this one don't. So it might be that I will never be in range for a Scrambler. So that's why I use a Disruptor here. Now I got a NAS, which is, I mean, it helps you tank a little bit longer. And I keep selling stuff. But it's not necessarily in this fit to have a NAS. You could have a Scrambler here instead. It's all up to you. I got some drones, doesn't matter in this fitting either. Now what I do have is three large shield boosters for a great amount of tank. For example, if I get jumped or if I end up in a gate bubble, I got one cap battery, which is really nice because when the fight start, I can push that. And after 25 seconds or something, I pretty much haven't lost any cap, even though I have boosted the entire time. I also have two Gist C type adaptive invulnerability field just to get my resistance up. Since this one is a shield tanking ship, I do know that EM resistance is my uh, resistance hole, so I am rigging EM here, 40% EM, so that's why I got 40% EM resistance. Now the other ones I have is activation time adjustments, which is pretty much DPS, and this is the best ones that you can have. I also got uh, one targeting system for locking smaller ships a little bit faster. I also got two semiconductor memory cells, just to help my cap. On high slot, I use uh, Pit C Type Lodge uh, Rapid Missile Launchers for maximum DPS. I also, of course, have a Nano Core. I did level this one up before, but uh, I have since that time removed it. I don't fly this ship anymore that often, at least. But I'd say if you go like uh, three bonuses down, that is pretty good. If not, then you can still have the first one, the 18% damage which is something that you would like to have. I, I would never say that you would PvP with a blue core or a green core. Always try to get a purple core. If you don't have a purple core, then you have obviously not played this game long enough. Or you have spent your points on other cores that you should have won it now. So anyway, this is my PvP build, but I will tell you how to build it differently. But of course, if you want to do PvE with this, if you want to do some missions, then I would remove two of the boosters and I would add one damage modifier and I would also add this Pitham C-type reactive shield hardener. If you need to, you can change your missiles into uh, the C-type large missile launchers. Uh, you will get some more range, a little less DPS, but some of the ships are kiting in some missions, so sometimes it's nice to have this one instead. But this is the PvE fit that I would have had. Now, if you do story missions and you do some of the harder ones, I would remove the damage modifier and I would have a second shield booster on. I would also change one of these uh, rig slots into one core defense operational solidifier to make my boosting go a bit faster. I would also remove the other speed damage uh, rig and put in a core defense charge economizer. Now, this makes your ship tag a lot more as well. So that's what I would have done. Uh, I would focus on the elites, of course. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. This is how you fit a Raven. Enjoy, boys, and I see you guys again.